Hi, this is Trev and welcome to my blog. I just put this short video together just to show you me unboxing something new that's just arrived in the post and to say thank you very much for all the donations that people have made over the last couple of weeks. It's really helped me out and I've been able to buy my first piece of equipment. I did say in a previous video that people had come forward uh, to ask if there was any way they could donate to help support the channel which I'd never really thought about before. Uh, so I attached a link and uh, people have mo made some donations, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, as I've said before in my pa uh, past videos, unfortunately I can't show you certain things because I haven't got certain pieces of equipment like uh, shrinker stretcher, bead roller, English wheel, TIG welder, etc. The list goes on. There's loads of stuff I haven't bought because I've always been able to skirt around the issue, maybe do a few things at work and then bring them back home. So it's worked out like that because I mean, I haven't had the spare cash to buy the equipment I need really to do the things. So I just haven't bought it. So this has been a way I've been able to afford to buy things like this. So this is the first piece of equipment I've bought. And um, thanks very much guys. Hopefully you can see the potential in the equipment I've bought and like I said before, any donations made in this way will be just purely put back into the channel to help buy equipment and tools so that I can produce more videos for you guys to watch. So it's uh, a bit of a win-win situation all around really. So thank you very much guys. I'll just show you the unboxing now. It's rather heavy crate has just arrived. I can only think it can be one thing. So let's unbox this and see what we got. Looks like the accessories pack in here. Got some kind of uh, instruction manual. And there's the machine itself with the uh, attached cables. A handle to go on the top. Slide hammer with a one of those star fittings pullers in the end so that'll be the puller we got some wiggly wire and another slide hammer a slide hammer with a handheld end so I'm assuming something else goes on to the threaded attachment on the end didn't realise it was going to come with two slide hammers to be honest with you. It certainly came well packed anyway. So in the accessories we've got a, a suction cup for pulling out large dents which um, I'm assuming would attach to the second slide hammer. Didn't realise I'd be getting that either. I wasn't part of the deal I didn't think. Got a couple of carbon shrinking rods. One's been snapped off. The end just snapped off for some reason. We've got another puller for the uh, wiggly wire. Another hook type puller. Spanner. We've got some uh, Star Miracle style washers that you can weld to damaged panels to pull them out. And we've got a Got a selection of ends that can go in the torch side of things. One looks like it's to uh, weld on the washers that I just showed you. I'm not 100% sure what the other one is yet. Another fitting. So first impressions are that it looks quite a, a solidly well made piece of kit. Um, it certainly looks well made and incredible value for money. Uh, certainly the exterior build quality, but is it any good? Will it work, I wonder? I'm sure it'll work, let's find out. Um, so what we've got on here is a basic dial that turns the machine on and off. So you've got on off there, and then you've got the different parameter settings off the dial. So we've got, um, 
from what I can tell we've got simple uh, washer welding program there which would be our first parameter and then it'll move on to a different setting as it gets up to here and another setting and another setting I'm not entirely sure what all these are I possibly assume that this is like they say the carbon shrinking rod props on the highest end and then um, different heat shrinking programs I'm sure that the unit should have a proper 16 amp uh, one of the blue plugs on it I haven't got anything like that at the moment so what I've done is I've just dropped a standard three pin plug in it because it came with one of those two pin uh, European type plugs so let's just see if it powers up so we've got a light on now uh, let's see if we can form an earth first I'm not going to use it on its high power functions I'm just going to see if it works so I can create see if I can create an earth So to make an earth then you just screw that down and that's that's made a nice solid earth then you just place that in the dent pull the trigger back and that's welded you use the slide hammer to pull the dent out then when you're happy you just simply give the whole thing a twist and it simply breaks off and that's on quite that's on quite a low power setting so I'll show you how to weld the washers on next so to weld the washer on you've got this attachment that just slides inside torch you just tighten that down so that can't spin round now and you just place uh, your washer in there now it's now well and truly welded and what you can do is you can put a line of these together you can put as many as these washers on as you want so you can put a line of them and then you can put them on at an angle and then stand them up and then you can use another tool called a line puller which I hope to make one of these and then you can pull off this a very very strong pulling point for the line puller and then when you have finished the washers just simply twist straight off like that ever so straightforward very useful bit of kit and the other thing, the main reason I bought this for, probably 50% of the reason I bought this tool was for its heat shrinking abilities. This really is a magic tool for heat shrinking. So with that little copper end in there we can do some spot shrinking. very controlled spot shrinking of uh, little high spots and then the other thing I can do with it which I've shown in other videos that people have watched but what I did I was using my converted spot welder for that and I really need I really wanted this piece of kit so I could show you properly because it just didn't work properly a fantastic bit of kit guys um, carbon shrinking rods yeah certainly on there release the earth clamp on there as well yeah see I've just turned the power up slightly that time and it's that is on there that isn't going to come off easily and then you can wrap these hooks 
around the wire. I think what these hooks need is the wires slightly too shallow for the hooks to go under. There you go. So it just needs a bit of a it just needs a bit of a fettle with the uh, with a belt sander. But you can see if that was welded to a panel and then you've got the slide hammer on there or the line puller which I intend to make then you could give that a tug that is really really welded on there really well and you can see that it's only taking seconds to weld that bit of wire on there and then you could give that a good pull so it's another nice accessory to the kit how well will that come off I'll get a pair of pliers on it that's on there bit of a wiggle and off it comes and it hasn't yeah it hasn't marked the surface up too bad at all really so quite another useful little bit and of course this can probably just be cleaned up and used again I mean I'm I'm more used to using the uh, washers myself that's what I'm used to using on the Miracle Repair but I mean these are just a direct copy of that so I've worked out the purpose of this auto manual switch. What this auto manual switch does is when it's switched to automatic, the machine is fully automatic. And uh, something that confused me slightly when I put the order in for this machine was, I don't understand how you could change the power and the time setting. Because when you're using anything to do with spot welding, you really want to be able to adjust the time and the power and just having it on a dial, I couldn't see how you'd be able to manually override the time setting. Um, in the ad that I read, it did mention something about the machine would weld itself automatically uh, when it detected a ground or something along those lines. And I read into this that the auto and manual functions meant that when it was switched to the automatic it would actually detect the earth and then send out the pulse. Uh, this would have made this machine much more practical when it comes to using the machine with other tools because then you haven't got a trigger to press. So you've always got to be able to factor in some kind of triggering mode, which this hasn't got an auto triggering mode, which I believe it had, but we are talking a Chinese direct translation here. So you've got to sort of, you've got to look at it through that lens really. Um, so what I could do is I could break into the trigger wiring and then basically put a foot switch on the floor, which would then free both hands up. So. There's normally a practical solution around these issues, isn't there? And I could do that ever so straightforward, just a simple on-off switch in a plastic box uh, fed back to the welder. And then I could just basically put my foot on it, which would send the pulse. So no big deal, really. Uh, so that's what the auto manual does. And of course, the manual is uh, the manual override switch, which takes the auto functions away as in the auto timer functions so on the manual mode it will hold the power on until you release the trigger when you switch it to the auto mode it then delivers a precise pulse of timed power directly to the workpiece and this does seem to work incredibly well so thank you very much guys for all those that donated to my toolbox fund and without you, I wouldn't have been able to buy this. I've just had to put a few pounds to this myself, but uh, I never would have bought this off my own back. Uh, so this is absolutely fantastic. And hopefully you can see the potential in this piece of equipment. And you can also see that I'm gonna be able to make some fantastic videos and show you some more content that I wouldn't have been able to show you without this piece of equipment. I mean, I can think of at least five videos that I could uh, put together and show you the potential of owning a piece of equipment like this, which has only cost, I think it was about 240 odd pounds. Unbelievable value for money. Only slight disappointment is the fact that I thought the auto function would auto detect and then send the pulse without pulling the trigger back, but I still give it a 95 out of 100. 
Not bad. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for your donations. I'm genuinely touched that people have uh, donated uh, to help me buy this equipment. And um, I hope to repay you by giving you some fantastic videos. So, bye for now.